how I spent my 2020 summer, well, at least uh, exercise-wise. Uh, did this trip several times a week. Um, a few times on the back side, I would go the other way, which is towards Waterloo. And uh, this is a good run. So we're going from my house, our house, uh, and going on this trail. This leads us over the Seneca Canal and then into the uh, Seneca State Park and then along the head of the Seneca Lake. And uh, it's, it's a pleasurable drive or ride. And I don't mind doing it several times, even several times a week. It just never gets old. It's just a pretty cool ride uh, which you'll see along the lake. Uh, but you get a nice refreshing breeze too, which is nice. And uh, yeah, here we are, a little twisty twisty through the uh, walking bridge. Uh, and this basically gets us under uh, 96A instead of having to go over the top of it. And uh, it's just kind of cool. They put this up a couple of years ago, maybe four or five, I guess. But uh, it keeps the traffic off of a uh, very busy uh, dual lane highway, as you'll see right over to the right, is that her car flying down that thing. So um, here we are. Now entering Seneca Lake State Park, um, there again, very scenic, cool. This has got some loose gravel in it, so it's kind of a little tricky. Uh, met a guy one time on it, was a new bicyclist, I guess, and uh, he took a pretty good dump and uh, scraped up and had some blood rolling, and I stopped and assisted him a little bit. His wife was kind of freaking out, uh, saying, ah, this is not for us, it's not for us. But uh, I, I think uh, everything was all right, though, so... So we're going along the canal here. Um, usually there's quite a bit of fishermen here. This this was filmed uh, during the fall, well, early fall, um, right before the least turn, as you can see there. And uh, I don't know, usually you'll see quite a few fishermen right in there fishing the canal, you know, catfish or pickerel or something they're getting, but uh, it's uh, abandoned right now. So this is a little side access road, and you're going to see that swoops up right here and it connects into one of the main uh, roads of the state park which leads down to the marina. We're going to kind of cut across here, go over to some of the trails or pass through the park in the spray park. I've never gone to it, I'm a little too big I guess for that. And uh, there it's on the map kind of showing you right there. Um, aerial view from our drone which I took uh, like a year or so ago before that. And uh, yeah, you meet up with quite a few people um, biking or jogging, and we're at 1.75 times speed right here. So she looks like she's really rolling, but uh, so times two would be double speed. So we're a little under double speed. And I did that so it's not quite so boring, of course, for everybody who's watching this. So now we're cutting through here, and now we're into uh, access. Of course, you can see those rocks. Um, they prohibit uh, any big vehicles from going through there. Now we are in an access area, which is very popular. Um, we uh, take our boat down here uh, several times uh, in the summertime. I'll put a couple clips of that in there coming up. Uh, but here again, we got a nice breeze. This is just so, so enjoyable to, to ride your bike down through here. And uh, I'm going west right now. So normally I got a west breeze traditionally in my face right here which is okay but um yeah a little harder pedaling this way but the uh i guess the, the gravy to all this story would be is on the way back you got a little bit of a backwind uh you can see the destination where we're going there was geneva new york uh, on that inset map that i threw in there and uh yeah so i got that backwind coming back which is kind of nice so overall it's uh, about a six and a half mile round trip uh journey and like I said, this was my COVID exercise for 2020. And Debbie went with me uh, a few times, not a lot. I think it was a little too far for her. Um, maybe right about in here, she would normally want to say, well, let's turn around and go back. And I know, okay. But uh, I don't know. I just, uh, here, playing around a little bit, swooping here and there. Um, I just pretty much wanted to get more of a little bit workout into it. And so I would try to get in the full six and a half miles. Um, sometimes even further than that. A couple of times I rode the bike uh, to where I'm going to go, which you're going to see, which is Geneva, which is the waterfront park. I actually rode the bike uh, up and over to her sister sister's house. That's a quick shot of our boat that uh, we just had in there. Um, her sister's house probably another two miles beyond that. Um, and if you can see, I got a little GPS. It's a kind of a workout app thing. It's telling me... Uh, how many miles I've gone, where, 
basically just kind of like a GPS, uh, other than it's a workout or fitness app. And it uh, kind of chimes in every time I do a mile and tells me how long it took me to do that mile. And I don't want to make it competitive, and Debbie always says I do, and that's why she won't go with me. Um, but, you know, you kind of want to see, okay, well, geez, I'm lagging. I'm dogging it here. i got to kick it up a notch. So, um, okay, there we go. Boaters Beach, there's a little inset shot. Um, that's the summer when we're out on the lake. And if you look to the left right now on this screen, um, that's right where we were, right out in that. Uh, it's all sandy water, sandy um, bottom, about two to four feet, all the way out, far. So, and it's level, and it makes it really nice uh, to wade around, uh, swim, have a few cocktails, which is done a lot. And, uh, you know, the main claim to fame, I guess, there is, uh, you can see an inside, inside another shot of that. The main claim to fame that is everybody drinks in the water, and no, you don't see anybody really getting out into their boat to go to the bathroom. So, kind of give you a little hint of maybe where that goes, but hey, makes the water even warmer. <laughs> So here we go again, they're prohibiting uh, vehicles, big vehicles anyways, from going. Um, now in this location you could, but in that other location they don't want you here, of course. So. And a little problem with that time. The GPS is vibrating down, I had to tighten up the uh, little shoulder thing, the saddle on it. So now we're getting close into Geneva and the area that we're seeing right now. They have a lot of concerts here, uh, they'll bring in portable stages and Vine festivals are big rate right in here. They'll always bring in, uh, like I said, uh, kind of like carnival tents and all that kind of stuff set up. And we used to have a whale watch. That's what we used to call it. There's really no whales in our lake, but we used to have a whale watch, and uh, that that went on, and that was huge. That was a lot of vendors and a lot of activities, and that was really cool. That was all right in this area, right where we're looking now. And then, uh, Chamber of Commerce is what they call this area here. Slowed it down to real speed. Now we're not sped up, but uh, we would launch our boats in this area, in this uh, Chamber of Commerce, many, many times. Right to the left, right there. As you see that, we back the boat right down to that. And then there's uh, kind of a pavilion, I guess. Uh, they have little banjo bands and stuff there. So this is a greeting center, Finger Lakes Welcome Center on the right. We also have wine tasting in there, beer tasting. S certain things like that. A lot of uh, weddings will stop here, get a picture for that I Love New York sign, which I did in one of my videos. Uh, Michael and Elma's visit to New York, we stopped there and did that. So now we're coming up, uh, getting close to the end of the, uh, the jaunt, at least the first leg, not the return trip. Uh, but this is the uh, Ramada coming up. And this Ramada was not just your normal Ramada. In the summertime, we uh, they've had live rock and roll bands out here, and they called it Live at Five. There's a view of the lake going down, about 35 miles down to the bottom, which is Watkins Glen. But this area right here is a nice relaxing area, and probably not the locals will go here, the tourists or passerbyers, transients will come here, and sit down, enjoy. Uh, maybe a beverage and a sandwich. And so now here we are coming up to the Ramata. This is where we had the Live at Five I was telling you about. And they were awesome times. They did end that. Um, COVID would not have been good anyways. I mean, this is, this, these times are all changed now and everything's a lot different down here. But right in this area that you're seeing now, you'd have hundreds if not thousands of people all walking around uh, with drinks in their hand uh, with the band playing up over to the right. Didn't really get a shot of that. And over to the left, uh, there's some docks where boats would come, join in on the party and festivities. We're almost to the uh, turnaround, the end of what I'm going to show you in this video. It's just a little ice cream stand up here. They're famous, or one of the things they're famous for is uh, wine ice cream and wine slushies. And of course, we're in wine territory, so everything's derived around wine. So why not, right? 